Sephiroth pick, you want to be able to keep your distance against Bayonetta like you were against the Kazuya. And you have such a strong ability to grab quick KOs. And with your forward air, you can actually really punish Bayonetta trying to recover. Yeah. You just yeah. have a long dish run. Look at that sword. Yeah, and, and we saw that against Brujo because... Even when he was Kazuya, even when he was K. Rule, he was constantly going out there to try to get those KO in offstage situations. And I doubt that that game plan will change just because Bayonetta is on the screen. I he does have to be a little bit more careful because Bayonetta is a harder character to uh, challenge in those edge guard situations. But a good a good player like Leviathan will be able to. Uh, navigate those situations expertly. Yeah, and just as I mentioned, Winner is going to be moving on to play the Buzz in Winner's Finals of our top six bracket here at Critical Mass. Loser is still going to be making top six, but they're just going to be ending up on the loser side. Yes, for sure. And already we're seeing just one hit there, uh, back and forth. Both players just exchanging, you know, pleasantries. Just like, you know, a little hi, hello, you know, intro to the set. Yeah, a little tip for death damage. It's only been 30 seconds, but right now, both players are just trying to find that one opening. Fourth throw coming through, going for the F-Tilt at the platform on the right side of Small Battlefield. I do like this stage for both characters, I will admit. Yeah, I, I feel like it makes a lot of sense for both characters to start here, but, oh my god, it's such a scary ledge situation. There's so much going on in these ledge situations. Like, Ooh. like how is Tejus going to recover? Like, you know, what options is Leviathan going to threaten? Where these two players position themselves is like what options they're going to choose. So it's very, very, there's a lot going on. So pay attention to that every time uh, one of the players is off stage. But just a raw up air to take the first stock from Leviathan. Yeah, uh, Girly Team Queen, I'd use a couple special attacks. To, on your landing, you're going to be extremely delayed on your ability to move afterwards. So you might as well get that upper where you can. It's going to be taking first blood in terms of the first stock. But we could be seeing Girly Teen Queen seal out a stock here and take Leviathan's first. Yeah, and we're seeing already no way. There's no way. Yeah, that's no jump. crazy. No jump. And we're seeing already that uh, Girly Teen Queen is okay going off stage to try to edge guard Leviathan, which I think is, you know, a brave thing to do and uh, probably the right thing to do in this matchup. But got reversals for it instantly, which was kind of unfortunate. But, you know, up till into back air, you know, get a little bit settled, get the first stock at the set. It's okay. Um, you just died at 31, but it's fine. It's fine. You're ah, chill. you're fine. Yeah, exactly. Like you're gonna be seeing one wing come up, and if you can't get this next stock early, and you take so much, is even if you get it down to your last stock, you're gonna be finding another one wing against that prop. It's gonna be a tough hill to climb against, but Girly Team Queen could still do it. Yeah, Girly Team Queen could definitely still do it, and especially with the combo extensions that we know them to do. Oh, getting another one, 63% right now, but Leviathan gets an opening of his own. Right now, 63% on Sephiroth. Obviously a lighter character, but even against Bayonetta, it's going to be tough for her to be able to try to pick up a KO. It's going to be a pretty hard road. Because I don't know if you're going to be able to get those combos with the side specials, the up specials. Trying to go for like up tilt back air is very situational. It's very hard to yeah. determine you're always going to be getting in the set. It's definitely interesting to see what the KO option of choice for uh, Girly Teen Queen in this stock is going to be because as as we've said before what defines good bayonettas from bad bayonettas is being able to find those stock those stocks so um leviathan proving why he is one of the best in new england right there with a clean two stock and the the moment of the match being that that down air spike to take a stock at, at basically zero percent yeah we have to watch it here again the up smash going to catch Girly Teen Queen on the right side platform of Small Battlefield. We do see the bands, if I'm assuming those are the actual right bands. Uh, I actually have no idea. I don't know if they're from before. I didn't look. Uh, but it looks <laughs> like both Animal Crossing stages, potentially Final Destination, uh, Hollow Bastion, and Kalos all there. And we do see the same characters going into game number two. Yeah, not surprised at all. Definitely for Girly Teen Queen. I don't know of any secondaries that they have. Um, it looks like Leviathan is pretty content to just stick with the Sephiroth. You know, there was a moment where we thought he might change against Brujo, and I thought that was very good discipline for him to not do that because we've seen him do it so many times before in the past. I think if you are if you understand your bracket path, you know what character you're going to be playing against, maybe you switch it up. Like, we have seen Leviathan switch it up multiple times in a single set, but I think right now he's been playing like, I'm going to be playing Sephiroth unless you really force me to switch off. Yeah. Yeah, and almost to a fault sometimes, you know? <laughs> I mean, that happens, yeah. you know? 
Yeah, but definitely going to see how if Girly Tune could even put him in that headspace, right? Yeah. Because it has looked dominant so far for Leviathan. Now we're seeing a great combo here from Girly Tween Queen, but it's gotta find the stock in the corner. Oh, oh. able to get back on stage. Clanks with both attacks doesn't get the sweet spot up tilt because of another clank on both attacks against both characters. Right now we are seeing the down throw trying to get that forward air. You have that extra mobility because of the one wing, but you are going to be dying based on your attack of the back air from Girly Teen Queen. Yeah, amazing stuff there from Girly Teen Queen, but uh, Sephiroth back air to answer right back. Oh, oh look at the parries yeah, I love on the that. guns. That was that was cute. I like that. <laughs> a little flair to your match. Yeah, just a little, just to show them I'm playing well. You know, I'm, yep. I'm locked in. Yep. Both characters trying to find a way in. It's pretty tough, but we do see a double up special. Does get back on stage. Oh, no punish. That's a big opening. Yeah, big opening there for Bayonetta. Oh, again, it's we're just leading to scrap situations. Like if Tadrus is not able to get those big conversions, it just leads to a scrap. That most of the time, I feel like Leviathan wins, but. Tadrus wins it there and is now has good stage positioning. Great side B to catch catch um, Leviathan jumping there. This is an opening. Two nairs into a forward air, into a back air, 71%. These nice combo extension strings are working out really well for Leviathan. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the forward air to catch Tadrus trying to space with a back air, but not able to convert off of it. Oh my god, both of these players back and forth on the ledge. It feels like one player is getting edge guarded and then like it reversals and then the other player is getting edge guarded and then it's like we, it's hard to keep track of because they're starting scrap situations off stage, which is crazy. Yep. Good F tilt from Leviathan trying to pick up the KO. It was the sour spot, not the perfect sweet spot that you want to see. Both players, two stocks apiece, almost nearly same percentage. We could be seeing a shift in the momentum of this game and potentially in the set in just a few moments, Waffle. Yeah, neither player able to find the stock, but up air is going to do it for Leviathan, but I have a feeling Girly Toon Queen is going to answer right back. But if he if he doesn't, like, I mean, we've seen Bayonetta struggle to kill today. I mean, against Craftus, like, we saw a couple 200 stocks. So gotta find it as soon as possible. Did we actually? Was it 200? Yeah, it was 200. I didn't realize. I thought it was just like 180. No, there was one that went to 200 Jeez. for sure. Okay, look at that back air dealing a decent amount of damage. 50% already online. You're gaining great extra credit against a lighter character like Bayonetta. And you have so much rage still, and you still have the one wing. You could just sneak an easy KO, and even if you lose the stock, you're still up. Yeah, but the side beat into back air is going to do it there for Girly Teen Queen. It has a lot mid deficit to, to bounce back on, but like we've seen Girly Teen Queen's Punisher game be so good all day, so I won't be surprised to see that deficit closed up pretty soon. Yeah, 100%. But even if you do bring it closer, you do have to deal with another one wing as we see a potential opening. No combo extension off of the sweet spot up tilt. Leviathan breaking out of it, trying to get back to neutral. Good grab. No F tilt. Just trying to read, just trying to be patient, trying to see the habits that Girly Tween Queen is going for. Yeah, I love the forward throw tech chase there because you could have opted for stage positioning, but if Leviathan was able to get that tech chase correctly, he probably could have ended the game right there, but didn't end the game right there, and now Girly Tween Queen has the chance to answer back. But Leviathan just sh showing time and time again that he is going to win these neutral interactions. You're just going to have to deal with it. Leviathan is doing a really bad job of preserving his health. He's at 72%. Bane at 139. You do not want to take any more percent. You obviously don't have one wing, but right now you cannot give yourself an opening for that potential backer that honestly might have done it. But the dash is not going to be coming through. Town and City is not going to save you. That is going to be a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Leviathan cruising into a 2-0 lead right there. I mean, finding so many different KOs in this set. Like, I can think of dash attack, down smash, forward air, back air, like so many range of options to get the KO. And it feels like what we're seeing from Curly Teen Queen so far in this set is like back air or bust almost, yep. which is like not what we usually see from them. I mean, against Exile, we were seeing a lot of witch time, not a single one so far in this game, which is just showing how much respect that Girly Queen Queen is showing to Leviathan. Yep, 100%. As we see a nice opening stock here, getting that grab. Girly Teen Queen taking that early damage, trying to get the forward arrows, able to get out of it for Leviathan. And let's see if Girly Teen Queen is able to seal it out right now. Down 0-2. We haven't seen any um, comebacks of this magnitude in this tournament so far. Yeah, we have not so far, but those records were meant to be broken and let's see if girly twin queen is able to break it right now i love the idea with the up air but it wasn't able to con convert on it but gets the next interaction anyways oh my god 
There's so much going on in those situations, and somehow Girly Twin keeps converting. Yeah, you're just able to find those openings, even off of like a stray side special, to get that stage positioning advantage. And now you're keeping the damage on, you're getting the stage position that you want. Look at this combo string and the patience and trying to get the back air, but just out of the damage ratio that you need. Yeah, and I feel like that's not something Girly Team Queen was expecting because Sephiroth is so light. That probably would have been a KO on most characters at the percent, but because Sephiroth is so light, Girly Team Queen wasn't expecting that to not connect. But finds it anyways and has, I think, the first stock lead of the, the set, if I'm not mistaken. Even still, this is a solid foundation for Girly Team Queen to bring this comeback. You're getting these combo extensions, those raw hits into the damage. You're not taking as much in return. You're holding on to that third, uh, first stock. You do lose it there, but you still did a good job. Yeah. I mean, Girly Team Queen's throughout these, the entire set has had really good punish game, but it it's, goes to show the player Leviathan is that Girly Team Queen is saying, I need to be even better with my punish game, which is crazy that uh, Leviathan is pushing them to that point. Let's see what happens here. You see the side special going to the up air, trying to find that tech chase on the platform of town in city. Going to go for the guns, just charging them up. Not going to use them. Trying to go for the fall down nair. Not going to work out. More nairs. Uh, four nairs, should I say. Not going to find anything, but the damage is starting to rack up. Trying to find that back air waffle. Yeah, trying to find the back air, and the back air is probably going to get the KO there, but not able to find it. And maybe getting a little bit too predictable, trying to throw out back is there in Leviathan, punishing two times on, on a whiffed back air. Okay, here goes the raw hits, but they're not really answering into anything. F Smash with the one wing could have potentially sealed out that second stock for Leviathan. Not this time around, trying to get back on the stage. Has to get away from these back air pressures from Girly Team Queen. He's just been pushing it out all set. Every time that Girly Team Queen goes for those short off back airs, Leviathan is so comfortable to just either shield them or to outrange them with Sephiroth's amazing range. It's been really, really impressive from Leviathan to just stay calm in those situations because it's such a good option from Bayonetta. But, you know, Leviathan does not care. Oh, 100%. Let's see what happens. For fast fall forward air, not able to do anything. A nice forward air hit for Leviathan in return. Trying to set up with the orbs. Not going to work out that time. We do see the lead. Now this is winner's side stock for Girly Team Queen. Could be losing down into the loser's top six. Yeah, definitely got to find this stock. I mean, how long has Leviathan been at over 130%? It's been so long. And Leviathan does not care. He's not phased at all of being at this percent. He's so comfortable right now. It's so impressive. Another shield grab. 45% extra credit and continuing. Oh my god. This is looking like somebody who is ready to play to buzz in winner's finals. Okay, let's see. Girly Team Queen trying to make the comeback. Does take a little bit of orb damage, 75%, but it's still not enough. Uh, Octo Slash trying to get a cheeky kill off the side. We see 26% already in the line. Starting to rack it up a little bit more. Another fair hit. Could be trying to find an extension. Not here. Leviathan trying to get out of these combos. Back to the neutral. Grab is going to be a great time, but gets out of it. Yeah, it gets out of it. And Girly Team Queen got the stage positioning there. Tried to get a reversal, but Leviathan did a great job of using the up air to prevent the reversal. And then got the stage positioning himself. The back air was not able to do it, but we have we are so close to a 3-0 victory for Leviathan. Ooh, the Octo Slash final hit is able to create the distance that Leviathan needs to potentially seal out this game. The pressure with the forward airs, the third one is going to do a third time's a charm, and Leviathan is going to be going to fight the buzz in winner's finals. Yeah, amazing stuff from Leviathan to put himself in a position to potentially, potentially. defend New England from the buzz. Potentially. 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 Okay, how many times have we said it? Nah, that's a lot. Oh my god, <laughs> replay. Oh my god, look at Woo! look at this forward air. He threw out so many and it's so safe. I mean, that's forward air to the character. Like I look know. how it's like one of the longer reaching forward airs in the game. It's, Maybe minus Min Min. It's pretty good. It's pretty really good. good. It's really good.